Hi, it's Tech Tuesday. Today I'm going to talk some more about the Philips Hue Bridge and how you can connect to it via the API. So a couple of days ago I was exploring the bridge. I wanted to have a look inside and I did connect through with the API and I sent a few commands to turn lights on, off and change the color. Had a few follow-up questions on that and I'm going to get to that very soon. But today, because of the feedback and the response from my first Philips Hue API video, I thought I'll start from the beginning. Right, you can find this information on the uh, Philips Hue developer portal. Go and create yourself an account there and have a bit of a read and check that out. But today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a user. And then in particular, I wanted to know how can I delete a user? Because when I have a look in my config, I can see quite a few old usernames there. I want to do some cleanup, get my little broom out and sweep that up. Let's have a look now uh, back to this little tool, the Clip API debugger tool. We're not really debugging anything, but you can use this to be able to send commands. So you'll just find the Philips Hue bridge on your local network. And in my case, there's the IP and then debug and clip.html. And you'll be presented with this little user interface. Now, to create a new user, it's very easy. So I just get rid of the first part of this. There we are, API slash API. And then we just need to put a message body in. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to send a command via the API and say, create me a new username and tell me what the name is. And the bridge will just generate a random string of characters and that will be your unique username. So message body looks like this. I'm going to call my app Tech Tuesday app and then kind of a user PC poll, meaning I'm on a personal computer and I'm Paul. Hi, nice to meet you. And all I need to do now is go and press the button on the bridge because the way that Philips Hue have built this is they basically say that, well, if you're physically able to be next to the bridge and you can press the button, that's kind of a level of security that's okay. And I have to agree, it's a pretty good idea. So just go and press the button. I need to go and press the button. Can you press it for me? Thank you. So with the button pressed, I've got 30 seconds now to post this command go. Aha, look at that, success straight away. And you can see the username, as I said, some long string. So I'll just take that username. And now I can go and check stuff out. So API slash the username. And then I can, for example, check the config. Now I'll get that information. And now here you can see a whole bunch of information about my Philips Hue. But down the bottom here, this is what was interesting. You can see here the new username information, uh, last use date right now, and there it is, the name, Tech Tuesday app and PC Paul. Well, you can see a few usernames here, and there's a few that are related to Home Assistant, and then some old mobile phones I've had that have had the Philips Hue app installed on them. So basically the kind of in my mind, a good thing about the way that Philips have built this system is that they've built an API, but they're really using it themselves. So when you install the Philips Hue app on your smartphone, you need to authenticate the app the same way. You join them both to the network and it will, the app will find the bridge, but you need to go and press the button and then it's sending a command, reply comes back saying here is your username and voila. I wanted to do some tidy up. So the second part of this video now is I want to clean up some of these old usernames. So you've got a new username, you're able to access and explore and have a look inside your Philips Hue bridge. But if you want to do some tidy up, now in the documentation, I first thought, oh yes, you can delete using API commands. No, no, it seems that that obviously is a little bit risky, perhaps. So you cannot delete usernames or users via the API anymore. I think it's a good idea. What you actually need to do 
is you need to log in to the Philips Hue website, have an account there, create one, connect your bridge to that account, to the cloud, and then you can see here, mine is online. Then you go to this apps tab and it's going to now show you what apps are connected to your smart home lighting. In other words, to your bridge. And if we have a look at some of these others here, here's my home assistant. This is uh, nine days ago. I removed all of the Philips Hue integration and put it back in again. So a new username was created so I can delete this one. So I just click deactivate and confirm that one's gone. All right, I've still got a little bit of cleanup to do there. There's some uh, Lucky 7 is one of my, <laughs> my old iPhone 7. So that's what's so lucky about that one. And a couple of other mobiles there, old ones as well. So I could do a little bit more cleanup, but that's enough for this video. Hopefully you've learned something new. I look forward to sharing more with you. Smart Home Sunday on the way, Tech Tuesday on the way again in the near future. And I do think I'm going to explore a little more of the Philips Hue API and some fancy stuff I can do. Like, for example, lighting transition times and create some scenes and assign them to... Just subscribe and you'll see what comes. Thanks for watching. Bye.